What's up guys, this is Ventress and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of one of the products in the Corsair line that I own and that is the Iron Claw RGB wireless mouse. If this is a mouse that's something you would pick up, even if you're a budget guy, is it something that I could recommend to you? Well stay tuned, sit back and I will let you know my opinion of this mouse as we'll be doing a full review. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so here we have the Iron Claw RGB wireless mouse from Corsair. As you can see, this is a very uh, large kind of size mouse. And we, before we get into more of the features, let's just get into the build design of this mouse here. This mouse is uh, one of Corsair's kind of more medium to high tier mouses in their lineup. Uh, this mouse does sport a lot of different features and things of that nature. And this basically known for its build quality. If you can look at the side here, the way it's shaped, it has a very kind of roundish kind of palm shapey here. So if you have larger hands, it would definitely work. But I have medium sized hands and they state that the way it's designed is made to fit most hands there. So I wouldn't be so uh, scared of the actual size of this mouse. It should fit most people's hands pretty well. You know, this is basically an all plastic design here. Uh, it's got a uh, rubber mouse wheel here. Uh, a lot of very clickable buttons all on the side. And we'll get more to more of what those buttons do and what, how to set those up in just a moment. But you can see there's the Corsair logo around the outside here, which does light up through RGB. Uh, taking a look around the side here, you do have the actual side of the mouse where you have some very textured grip, especially for the palm. I noticed that this doesn't get very sweaty when I put my hand on palm on there. Uh, it's a very textured palm there. Uh, to kind of an anodized kind of plastic design here on, on the front end of the mouse. Uh, RGB lighting on here. Of course, you have five mouse buttons coming aside, all plastic. And going to the top end. This part of the mouse is where you actually get some RGB lighting here for aesthetics and a plug in here. Now, this particular end here actually allows it to be plugged in through a plug in or wireless. So uh, we get to that at the moment as well. And the bottom end. Now this bottom end actually is where the uh, pads are to help for the flow of the mouse. These things are seeing some wear and tear because I've used this mouse for quite a few months, but I noticed that it works very, very well. It does have a actual uh, optical uh, mouse sensor on the bottom, which is a Pixar specially designed sensor for this mouse. And this mouse uh, does have a, a lot of DPI settings. I'll get to in a moment. And also on the side here, you might not be able to see very well, but this actually uh, has three different settings for your different uh, mouse settings. Uh, all plastic and everything. And yeah, that's essentially the mouse. So now we look at the build quality. Let's show you what the features. Now this mouse actually, as you can see, is very uh, robust. Uh, it's basically made for more of a palm grip. If you notice, you can fit your whole palm here. You can actually crawl grip if you like and uh, that will work very well but it's very bulbous around the outside so that means that you can get your palm here and if you have a larger hand it fits very very well i have more of a medium sized hand but you don't have to worry about that the non uh slip grips here help very much so when you're sitting out here i haven't had problems with the sweating i've had problems with the slipping and they're on both sides and it just seemed to work very well you can uh it basically fits very well the palm works real well. So it's basically made for most hands, uh, for, you know, if you have medium sized hands or what have you, you shouldn't really have a problem with that. Uh, going to more of the features, this mouse has 10 programmable mouse buttons. Uh, it basically has, of course, the, the mouse wheel, which you press down, the uh, DPI setting buttons, uh, and then also has buttons rolling on the side as well. So of course you have two adjustable buttons here. This is what they kind of consider a sniper button, uh, but you know, you can program to whatever you like. And then two more side buttons on the side. Plus of course your left and right mouse buttons as well. And these, all these buttons are here. They're all programmable to what you like through macros or to certain keys. 
or any, anything like that. These are all very, very programmable. And I'll show you later in the IQ software how well that works. So they do have those programmable buttons as well as to the front. Now, this mouse, as I told you, works through either a uh, USB or it also works through their uh, actual technology. So it does come with a braided cable that fits right into the front of the mouse, like so, if I get that work on there. And you can use it in the front of the mouse. You can use it and slip it on. And as you notice, as soon as I plug it in, RGB turns on, works just fine. Now also, with this particular mouse, it has a slipstream technology design. It comes with a little dongle and the little adapter. Now with this, this actually allows you to use this mouse wirelessly as well as corded if you like. Now you have three settings using this particular settings. You have your normal uh, Bluetooth, which is Bluetooth 4.2, I believe, that allow you to be able to use that's those mouse, the setting to be able to use the mouse. You also can also use it through a uh, actual setting. What Corsair calls its sub one millisecond slip string technology settings. So it means that you can actually plug this into here, like so, and this goes into your mouse cord, and that will allow it to be able to be wirelessly done through a dongle and have very, very response time, sub one millisecond technologies, where it has very low interference and it has a great distance that you can use that for. So that technology is there as well with this mouse, which makes this mouse very special in the Corsair lineup. So that is there as well. Now the mouse also has this particular sensor I mentioned earlier. This allows you to go up to 18,000 DPI and it does it in one DPI intervals. What that means is that if you have a particular interval setting for this mouse and you wanted to actually set it to a, a particular setting, you could do so by one interval. So you can get exactly the amount of DPI you would need for whatever you use. If you use this for uh, uh, work, maybe you're AutoCADing, maybe you're doing some architecture, maybe you're just using it for uh, you know simple spreadsheets, what have you, you need low uh, actual DPI, you can do that. If you're playing a game and you need some very fast high settings if you're a pro this will work very great for you it has a very very high sensitivity rating and works really well uh so essentially that is the mouse in general now the mouse also works very well uh through the corsair technology uh of the iq software now the iq software will allow you to be able to make changes to the settings of the mouse as far as with the actions you can actually set any of the 10 programmable buttons to a particular setting, whether it be a video game, whether it be uh, any type of program you like, you can set it to whatever settings you like. You can change the lighting of the actual mouse. The mouse will be able to be set to either some preset settings for the lighting, or you can actually customize the lighting to whatever color you like, and it will allow it to go through the actual different uh, areas of the actual mouse. And you can have a, a excellent time using that as well as you can go through and change some of the other buttons with macros and, and going through all the settings of, of changing the DPI to a particular setting of the DPI through the IQ software and be able to customize it exactly the way you want it and make this highly customizable and just a great mouse to be able to use if you need that level of customization. So getting to this mouse. Now, my final thoughts. Would I recommend this mouse? Being that I'm more of a guy on a budget, I would not recommend this mouse for budget mining people. And usually that's the people I have to my channel who usually like budget friendly products. I can't say I recommend this mouse to you guys. This mouse runs at about $80. And sometimes you can get it on sale for about maybe anywhere between $60 and, and $80 sometimes. This is a very expensive mouse. This mouse actually uh, does go on sale quite often, but it does cost. Uh, if you are a fan of Corsair and you need a high-end mouse that really just does it all wirelessly, wired up, I would definitely suggest this for you. But if you do want a mouse that is very uh, similar to this in the RGB and is something that is uh, very customizable, I have a link down below to another mouse uh, that I've been using for a long time that is a great, very good budget mouse as well. And with this Corsair, you know, be able to use 
uh, instead if you're looking for a more budget friendly kind of option. Uh, but other than that, if you are a fan of Corsair like I am and you have many of Corsair products, um, which is about the only thing I do splurge on my setup, uh, this mouse is excellent for you guys. And I would say that between some of the new stuff like the Dark Core SC wireless and some of the other mouses, the Scimitar, uh, if you just want an all around just great mouse, I think this mouse in the lineup is probably one of the best that they got in my opinion. So guys, yeah, that is my review of the Iron Claw RGB wireless mouse from Corsair. Is this something that you would pick up and add to your setup? Or is it something that you would uh, prefer uh, maybe a cheaper mouse? Or maybe you like a better Corsair mouse? Let's have a conversation and leave the comments down below. And as always, keep that flame going inside for gaming. And I will see you in the next review video. Peace out, guys.